Uh, Galveston hurricane took place in uh, September the 8th. I'll never forget the date. My uh, mother uh, went out in the street near the house and looked up toward the Gulf of Mexico, toward the coast, and noticed that the waves were dashing higher than usual. So people got on streetcars or walked and went out to watch, watch the, the waves. The, uh, we had some friends within about two or three blocks of the ocean and uh, we took refuge in their house and we could see the water coming in under the doors, under the kitchen doors. and you could see them then trying to pile up the dead and drowned until we got to the, uh, the docks, the harbor side. And there we were on the first tug, the first boat out. Galveston was isolated. It was two miles to the across a bridge, and the bridge was one of the first things to go out, the first thing to be destroyed. And there was just no communication, no way to get in, no way to get out. The uh, impressions during that storm of tree branches coming through the windows and uh, people on them and people crawling off of branches and off of floating rooftops through the windows coming in and people praying and the black people singing and singing uh, spirituals and hymns uh, never left me and influenced me throughout my life. It's facing death about as close as you can face it. seawall, boyhood, young boyhood, which I think is the most interesting tenacity of people who will not move out of a precarious town, that they're going to stick there and stick with their property, even though it means lifting everything and abandoning gardens and 
and sidewalks and uh, outhouses and all this sort of thing. It just lifted everything.